Student advocates say special education in Chicago's public schools is broken. It needs fixing. It's why state education officials are recommending someone be put in place to improve it. But as CBS 2's Dana Kozloff reports, there's also fears it won't completely solve the problem. Do you want to pet the cat? Single mom Christine Palmieri has waged a multi-year, almost $20,000 battle with Chicago Public Schools. She's fought to get her nine-year-old son, Miles, who has autism, the special education services she feels he needs. Now, officials with the State Board of Education acknowledge her concerns are part of a bigger special education problem within CPS. It's vindicating to know that what we felt was going on was. They found that CPS was systemically violating these children's civil rights by withholding, delaying, denying. Special education advocate Terry Smith Roback and Palmieri submitted affidavits to the State Board of Ed about their concerns along with hundreds of others. Everybody had similar stories, you know, kids having services on their IEPs that weren't being delivered. As a result, after hearings on the issue, ISBE's attorney will recommend a monitor be put in place to make sure CPS follows the law. I'd call it a glimmer of hope. But concerns still exist, like can one monitor oversee the entire system? I'm concerned that there's no enforcement measure in place to make sure that CPS follows these recommendations. Do you think there's been irreparable harm done to some students? Definitely. The Illinois State Board of Education is expected to vote on these recommendations Wednesday. CPS CEO Janice Jackson says improving the district's special ed program is a top priority, and she's committed to working with ISBE to implement its recommendations. Robin Erica. Yeah, a long way to go there. Thanks, Thank Dana. you, Dana.